been in my story and it be shit like that. Uh, All that tough talk, what? You ain't built like that. What? You ain't hopping the shit, man. Bring that shit, man, back. Uh, you ain't been in the... Hey, hold up. Be okay in this motherfucker. It's gonna be okay in this motherfucker. Like, comment, subscribe, share, dislike, do all that, do something, though, show some love, right? So, so, uh, they say, right, that if you let a black cat cross, you're gonna get bad luck. You know what I'm saying? And we all know, well, some of us should know that that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? Because that black cat was a cat that came from the desert. You know what I'm saying? So understand this, right? When people talk about crows give you bad luck or that means something's gonna happen. All of a sudden you see a crow, it's bad luck. You're gonna, you know, something's gonna happen to your life. Your livelihood if you see a black crow. <laughs> you see any black bird, it's, that means bad things are gonna happen. And it's like, dude, those birds are some of the main birds that govern the desert. You know what I'm saying? So, more often than not, when you see a black bird or a black cat, they're delivering a message. Whether y'all, there's a video, I told y'all, there's a video game called Ancestors, right? And people don't like to be compared to as monkeys or whatever, but they're literally your ancestors. Just like the black bird and the cat, how else are you able to communicate with them? And another thing, right? This is going to really, this is going to really do it for y'all right because they say that when you get into them rural areas in the desert where there's no water or whatever you know what I'm saying they say that um, you start to hallucinate now understanding that when you hallucinate Right, because you're dehydrated. Morning. Hey, how's it going? All right. all right, all right. Because they say you're dehydrated because you haven't had water. The things that you perceive, um, the things that you perceive are your perception, and it is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, my thing is, when you die, you quote-unquote hallucinate, too. You know what I'm saying? When um, you want certain substances, you start to hallucinate, right? So, my thing is, <laughs> hallucinating, right? It's nothing more than your pineal gland actually being opened. Because you've been hit with rays from the sun this entire time. And, and let, me, let me tell you this. When you hallucinate, it's nothing like you see on TV. So you're not going to see a fucking soda machine in the middle of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? That's something that they created for you. So you would think hallucinating is preposterous. And you'll never do it, right? So when... You see, when you start to hallucinate, you know what I'm saying, your body is rid of toxic sink water, right? 
as I told you, sink water sinks your vibration, right? So, if you ain't got no sink water in you, and the sun hitting you, and you start seeing stuff, crows and cats, you know what I'm saying? What happens is, when you pass out, you go into another dimension. You pass out into another dimension. And they want to tell you that you was, you was just tripping, you know what I'm saying? Dude, listen. Y'all need to go to the... I ain't even going to lie to you. I'm not even going to lie. Y'all need to visit the desert. Not come live or not go live, but definitely check it out because you're going to notice things that you ain't never noticed a day in your life. And I know it's not popular for our community or for anyone to really live in the desert. And this is why I say that because... So you can get an experience for yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely something that needs to be done, especially when you are uh, trying to represent ancient Egyptian culture, or you're trying to represent the culture in general, like you literally need to go check it out.